So this is going to be our first uh, lesson, um, working through the Unity Learn. And um, we're going to go a little bit more detail than Penny does up there and practice a few other basic skills um, as we work through this lesson. So um, it's Artificial Intelligence for Beginners. It's up on Unity Learn. And um, once you go up there, you know, I suggest you work through her lessons and, and listen. We're going to start with her uh, sample product project, and that is under, um, well, let's go here. So you're going to start here, and you're going to go down to the mathematics of AI, and you're going to click on vectors. And once you do, this is what we're going to download. So you're going to download it, uncompress it, and then um, you either have created a new scene if you have a project you like and you want to continue on with AI within that project. You're going to create a new scene. So either a new scene or you've opened a brand new project, either way. Um, now in her sample, I don't think she has these, but we need to have some folders for scenes and scripts. So you're going to right click, create a folder, scripts, folder, scenes. So we're going to have uh, both of these uh, scenes and um, scripts. So when you bring that thing in, um, either you have dragged it in to your assets, the scene. It's not a project. So you're going to drag the scene in or double click and it should open also. But hers is called moving. So um, we'll double click and open moving. And what we have is we have a pig um, and then we have a, uh, a goal location we're going to move that pig to. Now I changed my goal location I think she does in the video also, but I evened it up. So I made it four and seven. Four and seven because we're going to be actually putting some figures in. And I wanted to you know, just make it easier just to type those these figures in instead of like 4.125. So, um, and I think um, she gives you this script, which is move. At least I think it's there. Um, let's take a look at it. If not, we'll type it. I think this comes with it, but if not, then you're going to be typing it. Um, and we're just creating a public, like, empty game object, um, which is where we're moving to. And when the game starts, we're just going to move from the current position. We're going to translate or move all of our vectors to this position. So you want to make sure that you have that script on your um, object, which is your pig. So you would just add component and start to type this script in and then make sure it's on there. Now, we got to fill that slot. It's an empty game object. So you're going to fill this goal with this goal location. And when we create an empty game object, usually we make sure we label it real carefully so we know what goes in here. So you're going to drag this right inside there. And when we play the game, the pig moves to that location. Okay? And I always make sure I do not um, write over their script. So I, I would immediately go save a new scene, save as, and go into your scenes folder, and uh, save a new scene, type a new scene inside here. Always keep their scene they give you pure. In case you need to go back to it. And I think I just named mine pig. Okay, so um, that is using her script that comes with it. And then um, let's load this scene. So let's look at a couple of scripts here. So that's move, and this is move one. So um, all we did was replace the um, uh, line that 
um, to, and it's just moving to this goal with some actual values. So we're going to start figuring out magnitude and vectors. So this gives us a good chance to practice. And let's take a look at that. Um, let me go back to this scene. So the pig is at 0, 0, 0. And then our goal location, I'm going to change this, is 4 and 7. And save it. Yeah, I don't, we no sense of us typing 4 point something or 7 point something. So now it's at 4 and 7. So we need, we know we need to move 4 in the X and 7 in the Z. We can see that. We're not moving in the Y because we're not going up or down. So that's all this script is here, is moving 4 and 7. So let me see what I have on this. This is my pig script. And I have my move script on, so I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to go ahead to my move 1 script. And I'm going to again fill this location here. And let's see what we do. And the pig moves to 4 and 7. Okay, so now we get a chance to sort of practice moving it. Now, if you've done any programming or done any of the Unity lessons, um, you may figure, well, it moves so fast I can't see it. I would slip it down into void update, uh, etc. But we're just moving when the game starts. So when the game starts, we're going to see it one time. So we can't control if, if it's in void start. We can't control this speed. It's just one frame when the game starts, it's going to do it. Um, not something you would control or have it happen every frame. Now, if we put it down here, uh, it is going to move, but it's going to move every frame. We'll eventually fix that. So we're going to keep it right in void start for right now. Now, let's load a different scene. So another thing she has us do um, is create two picks. And let's create another one just for the heck of it. So we'll go here. Oh, let's, let's use our other one. Right click, duplicate. And we say, well, where is it? I don't see it. We'll move it here. Okay. So um, we now have three picks. Now, for this one, I can tell I need to move it. Um, four and seven but not for this one so this one if we move it four and seven it's going to be ten and seven so it's going to be down here it's going to be level but it's going to be down here so realize okay we need to go here so we need to be at four and seven so if we go here we got to go minus two to make this four and then seven's four fine so um, on this one, I have my move to script. Which is here. So moving minus 2 and 7 is going to put me at that slot. When the game starts, of course. So, well, we created this one. Let's practice with it. First of all, let's make it 8. And Z is still zero. So, okay. So now, what do we need to move? You know what? Let's move it back. And let's make this minus three. Okay. Now, I'm going to go to my scripts. And I'm going to create a new script. Create C sharp script. I'm going to call it move four. And to make it easy, um, I'm going to copy my move three. Well, for some reason, it doesn't want to open move three. Okay. No, my move two. 
So I'm going to copy move two. And go to move three. Oh, maybe I have a move two move three, so that's why. No. Yeah, it looks like I do have two move threes. So let's create a move four. Oh, there's move four. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this. Paste that in. Okay, and save it. Okay, so now your goal is going to be to figure out what I need to do to change that to make this move. So right now, let's see what happens. So the first two are good, but you can see pig do didn't move to that goal location. So we're going to get rid of this. And we're going to have move four. And let's drag this in. Again, we're on our third pig. And I think the same thing is going to happen. Yeah. Okay, so you need to figure out what you need to do with this move four script to make this third pig get there. And let's take a look at it. So take a second. You're going to change this and change this. Take a second. Look at where this pig is and where this is. Stop the video. See if you can figure that out. Okay, so hopefully you figured this out. Um, we need to be at four and seven. And right now we're at eight and negative three. So we know we need to go negative four to make us at four and we need to go to seven. We're at negative three. So that's going to have to be positive 10. So negative 4 and 8 would give us 4. Negative 3 and 10 would give us positive 7. Let's save it. And always make sure this name, when you, when you create a script, that the name matches there with the uh, script you have here. Okay, so did I save that? Let's see if I saved it. So whenever you make a change, make sure you save it. And let's see what happens. There we go. Every, all three pigs are at the exact same location. So what I'd like you to do is maybe create or delete some of these pigs, create a couple new ones, and practice um, moving them to the same slot. Maybe even move this a little bit and practice using X, and Z values, positive and negative, to get this thing to move and to understand what we're going to be doing with magnitude and vector. And then in the next lesson, we'll start to control the move and make it move slowly where we can control it. Anyway, the more you practice this, the better you're going to be. And do keep a clean interface. So like with this right here, what I could do is create an empty slot, call it pigs and then simply I'm going to go here and hold down shift I'm going to let go of shift and drag them there now I have it clean and when I want to I can open it and when I don't I don't so if you have like fences and um, walls or something always make sure you keep this clean create empty objects drag them in and keep this clean too don't have a bunch of scenes sitting in your assets and a bunch of scripts sitting all over the place. Create a folder and put them in. Anyway, give it practice and uh, let me know if you have any problems.